My name is Vincent, and when you speak to me, you are in fact speaking to Cassie. Hmm? I uh, offer this as proof. So, if I decide I don't want to answer to number two and chain of command, Show your pack what happens when Cassie's requests are denied. Or we could start again. getting started. Why don't you just kill me and get it over with? Speak to her again, I'll feed you your tongue. Spread the word, from here to the bayou, midnight tonight he's to be put to death for his part in aiding the escape of deserters. For now, chain him up in the lycée. <clears throat> Tell the other wolves to come and have a look and see what happens to traitors. Ollie? Ollie? What is wrong with him? It's the witches. Ollie? They said he only had it till midnight. Stay with me! Jack. some heads together and find out. I'll know where Camille is shortly. You'll meet me there. Come alone. Because your wolves can't be trusted. I staked it out. Looks like a couple of Oliver's friends wanting to avenge his death. Where's Cammy? She's, uh, she's tied up near the altar. Hey, you know what? You be lying for her. I'll handle the rest of them, all right? Aiden? Your brother was among the recruits that Oliver rescued, was he not? Take my pack back. Your pack? Last I checked, your pack was blindly following me. You wanna talk about following? How do your mother's boots taste? <laughs> what have you done with Cammy? <laughs> Hybrids die by losing their head or their heart. And given the choice, I'm gonna take the organ that got you into this mess in the first place. Let's be more trickle of this. She tried to show them mercy. If they've harmed her. Esther's mistake was believing there was anything left in your siblings to save. Together, my son. We can finally destroy them. I'm happy to hear you say this, Father. 
Such a powerful man. I could use your strength. Cheers. Where is she? So you're brokering a truce. Between mongrels and parasites. And just how long do you really think that's gonna last? A month, a week, a day? What you don't yet seem to understand is that the only thing that can exist between your two degenerate species is hatred, war, and death. But I imagine, given a little time confined together, you'll come to see things the way I do. They were so, so confident in our defeat. But I assure you, Father, they have no idea what they're up against now. Josh. Josh. Something's wrong. I, I I can't be up here with you right now. Whoa, hey, slow down. All I can think about is blood. Hey, it's like when I first turned, only a hundred times worse. Whoa. Gia. <laughs> Your vampires seem to think it's lunchtime. <sighs> What is it? They're not the only ones who are hungry. It's all of us. Yeah, like super size hungry. And there's an all-you-can-eat werewolf buffet right through those doors. Mother, I thought for sure I'd find you dead. My mother. She who gave me life. Yeah. But I know that she would want for me to finish what we started. <laughs> I saw glimpses of him. He's combining sacred objects, totems, representational magic. Where? Lafayette, number one. The Leon tomb. And what's he using? He's channeling your parents. Well then, shall you and I go crash their little party? Who needs to pick up the pace? Klaus? Elijah? Elijah? So I think I should teach him a lesson. What just happened? Niklas. You two. What is this? It's a song with the shots. A hunt room. It's where witches bring their prey for mental target practice. Our bodies are in the real world, laid on the floor, whilst our minds are in here, represented by these creepy animal heads. 
Let me take a wild guess as to who is the author of this nightmare. Finn! Show yourself! Save your strength. And here I am untouchable. My magic, my rules. So, make yourselves at home. We're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, about the city, what I care about is that my very human body is laying at the feet of some very hungry vampires. Your fight is with them, it's not with me. All you care about is your own fragile mortality. But what if you were made vulnerable? What then? Sake. She crossed me, so I crossed her back. Look, if you could just get me back to my body, I will tell anybody anything that they need to know. I'm... How never minded of me, Rebecca. You don't know where she is, and the only thing standing between you and our sister is this selfish fool. Hmm. Maybe it's time that you go enjoy the rest of your mortal life while you still can. Magic is as flawed as your perception of your own sibling. I wonder just how untouchable are you? Oh, thank God. Are you okay? For now. <clears throat> what happened? Is Cole okay? I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. I applaud you all for your strength of character. Just finished congratulating your little vampire horde downstairs. What did you do to them? Nothing that isn't reversible. I came to ask you a question, Marcel. See, earlier today, I spent some time with my brothers. They went to great lengths to hide something from me. A secret they'd do anything to keep. Now, I may not be able to get it out of them, but I'm willing to bet I could rip it out of you. How the mighty have fallen. Simple bit of magic, and once mighty vampires now lie before me. How does it feel? Hunger so intense, like shards of glass creeping through your veins. You can't free yourself. Those ropes have been soaked in vain. But I did lessen the spell that made you hungry affording us an opportunity for some civilized discourse. Your class is ally. And I think you know something. You can think whatever you want, as long as you don't mind knowing that you are a chump. That's my brother, Finn. We keep him like that because he is such a bore. I'm going to kill the both of you. You have some nerve coming here. All good grace with me was lost the moment you sided with our wretched siblings. You know me, Finn. I take sides with whatever I think is gonna win. And to be honest, well, you and Mum were acting a bit daft, weren't you? But I heard about how you turned dear old dad into your own personal black magic battery pack, and I thought, Oh, that's... that's cold. But it's smart. And now I can see which way the wind is blowing. And after the way the three of them treated us, I'll be happy to see them get what's coming. <laughs> what was that for? For being a duplicitous weasel. Allow me to send a message to your little girlfriend. It's me. You all right?
seems your little friend Davina has absconded with one of my prisoners. Look, I didn't come here for a fight. The little witch, she asked me to be a distraction. She can be quite pushy when she wants to be, you know? Don't you see? We were given a gift. Rebirth. Unfettered by vampirism, we were made clean. And all that was asked was a pittance in return, and you could not even give that. Finn, you're angry. And when you're angry, you don't think straight. So just give me a chance. Do you don't deserve another chance, Cole. So I'm going to give you the one thing I know you fear most. I curse you to this body, unable to jump to another. Over the next few days, I want you to contemplate what's to come. A meaningless, lonely death, and the darkness to follow. Clock starts now. Be sure to say your goodbyes. Go. Brother? I will not miss you. De vale es numerus puerum. 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 Really? You care to reconsider? Finn knows about hope, about everything. I don't know how long until he gets there, but he is on his way. He's remarkably well on his way, I would say. Okay. Kinbe Potransi. What I do now, I do for the members of my family who can still be saved. Unfortunately, neither you nor Nick Klaus managed to make that list. Your hubris truly knows no bounds. You attack a witch in the very place that the ancestors call home. You're a fool if you think the ancestors give a damn about you. They may not care for me, brother, but they hate you. <laughs> Lost a step, brother. But them being blown to pieces will do that, I suppose. Finish so soon, my indestructible brother? Father was right about you. You're nothing but a pathetic disappointment. You judge me? You who cursed Cole to death? But you didn't stop there, did you? No. As an encore, you sought the death of an innocent child. I need never be under their control ever again. I can hear her yapping, but clearly she's not talking. 
I guess we're back to square one. Actually, she did talk. And I decided to listen. 